somewhere in the black mining hills of well, somewhere in the black mountain hills of Dakota they lived the young boy named Rocky Raccoon the One day his woman ran off with another guy Hey the young Rocky Rocky didn't like that He said I'm gonna get that boy So one day he walked into town booked himself a room in the local saloon As you guys know the song, I'm sure, but um, yeah, just gonna give you guys a quick tutorial of it because really easy to play and it's fun to sing along with, and um, yeah, it's a fun song. So here it goes. So starts out with an A minor. Take your middle finger and your ring finger, place them on the third and fourth strings in the second fret right there. These two. And then this guy should be on the second string in the first fret. So this is your basic A minor. It should sound like that. But um, the way it's played in Rocky Raccoon, it's that position except you take that pinky that's not doing much, stick him on the first string in the third fret. So it goes. And then the next part is a, it's like a D. You have your middle finger on the first string, second fret, index finger on the third string, second fret, and this guy on the second string, third fret. Here, close up. Yeah. And, um, but the way it's played in the song, you'll have your fingers there, and then also stick your pinky there on the third string. Ah, sorry, first string, third fret. There we go. And then you'll take it off. So it goes like this. Well, somewhere in the black mountain nails of Dakota, I lived a young boy named Rock Raccoon. You see how you switch from the A minor with your pinky there to a D with your pinky there, and then you take off the pinky set. And then the next chord is a G. Middle finger on the fifth string, second fret. Uh, ring finger on the sixth string on the third fret, and that guy on the first string in the third fret. So From this, you'll switch to a G seventh, which is all you do is you take your pinky off there and put your index finger down on the first string in the first fret. So, And then C, which you'll have your uh, index finger on the second string, first fret, and you have your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and ring finger on the fifth string, third fret, right there. It goes from that C to this. So 
case you hadn't noticed, all I'm doing is um, I'm taking off these fingers and moving my middle finger up to the fifth string in the second fret. So it's just my index finger down here and middle finger up there. It's a sort of transition chord. Close to the E minor, but not quite. So and then you're back down here at the A minor. Okay. Now that I've taught you all the chords, it's that throughout the whole song, by the way. The chorus, it's the same exact chords, except it's sped up. It, you know how it goes like, For Rocky collapsed in the cold night. So yeah, same chords as the verse, except you speed it up a bit. It's like you, it, I think it's about twice as fast as the actual verses. But um, yeah, there. Now I'm gonna. The only other trick to playing this song just right is um, knowing which a uh, bass string to pluck. Note, notice how when I play the A minor, for example, I don't just strum it like. It's, it's, you know, it's not as good as this. So what I'm doing with the in the A minor position, I'm using a pick or your finger, or whatever. I'm plucking the fifth string, the A string, and then I'm strumming those bottom strings. For the D chord, I'm uh, plucking the fifth, uh, sorry, fourth string. And the reason it sounds better is because the A, with the A minor chord, I'm plucking the A string as the bass note, you know? So it sounds closer to it. It's like almost as if someone were playing the bass along with it, but not quite, you know? And then for the D chord, I'm plucking the D string. And then for the, the G, I start out, I pluck the low E string up here, the sixth string. And then for the C part, the C and the transition chord, I'm again plucking the uh, A string. So I'll play that again, closer. so you can see what I'm doing here. So, yeah. I think that's basically the whole song. And, um, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I don't know, since I can't keep track of everyone who's subscribed to me or is on my friends list or whatever, I don't know if the people who keep asking for song requests are you guys or if they're just newbies to my videos, but uh, just in case, you know, I don't take requests, in case you didn't know already. But um, yeah, thanks for watching.